Yeah. Okay, so I'm here with sorry. Amy. Amy. Hi, Amy. Um, so you just approached me and said, uh, uh, "How supportive you are of Mind." Yeah. So yeah. how did you end up? Um, being connected so to last summer, I went through a really bad patch in my life, um, committed suicide, but didn't succeed and ended up um, in a general hospital. Um, And then I ended up being supported by MIND when I got transferred to um, a child psychiatric unit in Bridgewater, um, where I was from at the end of August till December. Um, still being supported by MIND and um, yeah, actually being discharged from mental health services in a couple of weeks. So yeah, I've brilliant. made a really good recovery with them. Yeah. Um, did you notice it with your feelings changing? Definitely. Um, but I found it so hard. I don't think there's enough support um, and how to reach out to people. I actually went to my GP and they said there's nothing they could do for me and I told them how I was feeling. Um, I went and ended up going to them twice actually um, and they just told me, or they literally said to me, sorry there's absolutely nothing I can do, I don't know what's wrong with you. And I felt completely isolated and um, nowhere to turn to um, and I was really, really unwell for a long time and then, yeah. Did you self-harm before you? No, I didn't. You no, didn't? No. So what made you choose the option of suicide? Um, it was it got so desperate and so um, such an estate that I didn't know what to do um, it, I told my GP that that's how I was feeling I felt suicidal I felt really unsafe and he offered nothing for me mm. um, it felt like the easiest option at the time oh, you'd um, been affected by suicide in your life? affected by depression but yeah, not yeah, suicide depression. Um, my mum went through a really bad patch of bipolar when I was 10 to 13 and she wasn't living with me she was in a psychiatric hospital herself yeah. so I've grown up with a lot of family um, kind of with mental health problems as well did your mum ever try suicide yes she did yeah yeah so um, um so had did you see the tv show 13 reasons why I did see the film TV show, yes. what do you think about it um I think in a way it raises awareness which is a really good thing um but it does need to be I noticed they put on the second beforehand because I don't think there was enough kind of idea of support behind it. It was just kind of left people watching. So what about if I, if I said to you my feelings to the first reasons why they opened up the option of suicide yeah. to younger people yeah. and there wasn't one before? No. So like for yourself you was opened up the option of suicide yeah. because you're mum. Yeah. And if you never had that in your life. No. So do you think it's better to teach positive mental health in schools than suicide awareness in schools? I that's a really tricky question. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think they're definitely, suicide definitely needs more awareness at the moment. Yeah. Um, but is it, don't you see suicide as the end game? So say like for, for cancer, um, if things go wrong, obviously death is the end game. With mental health, it's the same thing. It is. But is it, should it we like focus that. on? No, no, they don't. And that, that is a problem. So and that is why we need more mental a health awareness because yeah. um, a lot of people see a view of oh pull yourself together get over, get over I know. it they go oh they don't what really works is they don't a lot of people and even gps don't see physical illnesses they see them not on the same level with mental health yeah and that's still an issue even 2018, I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. So, um, what are you going to be doing? Are you I'm leaving actually school? I'm going to uni. You're going to uni? So I managed to do my A-levels, I only took two. Um, I thought I was going to have to retake school. I'm studying politics, hopefully going to do something with mental health. Oh, that'd that be great. That, so, I mean, um, it's actually spurred on a, a lot of people passion. that go on to work in mental health have, have got their own background, yeah, have definitely. experience in it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think it'd be fantastic. Yeah. You're uh, very brave and we do need more people to talk about it and yeah. uh, thank you for talking to me today thank you very much thank you